Hey there students. So in this video today, I'm going to go over direct versus indirect costs. That's what we're going to be talking about. It's important that you understand these terms. Now this first chapter, or first and second chapter, are mainly about terms. Because I need to lay the foundation for you for the rest of this class. You have to understand how these terms work. And don't worry, we're going to practice a lot of test questions with this in a little bit. First, I want to introduce you to a few things. So, direct costs. What is that? Well, direct costs can easily be traced to a product. Let me show you. So here's a cool example. We're going to use a car. So what are some direct costs that you can easily trace to a car? What can you recognize there? Let's think about it. So an engine. That's easy, right? You open the car's hood, there's an engine. That's a direct material is what they call that. And we'll go over that in a little bit. But that is easily traced or directly traced to that car. Now, what else can be easily traced? Well, we have assembly time, right? So some dudes are working in a factory and they're assembling that car. So that can be easily traced to that car. You're like, well, that guy right there worked on this car, right? Easy. I just traced him that cost to the car or that steering wheel it goes in that car you can easily trace it so that's called a direct cost you can directly trace it now let's talk about something else here what are indirect costs so we talked about direct but what's an indirect cost well these costs have to be allocated to that product so imagine the car again it's not as easy to trace as like a steering wheel or an engine or assembly time. These are more difficult costs, so they don't call it tracing. They call it allocation. You allocate it to the car. Now we have like power tools, right? Because you have a power tool, but you work on a lot of different cars with that tool. So it's really tough to directly trace a tool to that car. Now what else? Electricity right you have electricity that powers that entire automobile plant can you really trace each little piece of electricity to each car not really that'd be really tough to do so you have to allocate it now don't worry about actually the method of allocation right now i'll show you that later on but all you need to know right now is that there are certain costs that you can trace to the car and certain costs that you have to allocate so let me go back one more time here. So again, indirect costs are allocated. Direct costs are traced. That's what you have to know from this. Write that down. All right, that's about it for this video. Very short video. I just wanted to show you the basic differences between direct costs and indirect. Once again, direct costs you can trace. Think about a car. You got the steering wheel, the engine, the wheels, the assembly time, the dude that worked on that car. Then you have indirect costs with that car. You got some power tools, electricity, maybe the janitor, right? He's working and he's cleaning that factory. He's also an indirect cost. Now there's a lot of different types of indirect and direct costs, but don't worry. We'll practice that in some test questions. We'll be going through some really cool matching exercises that'll show you more about different types of costs and matching them with direct or indirect. So hopefully this was helpful for y'all. It's a great example. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.